Voiceover, not an easy career. You have to be dedicated to learning, exploring, finding creative, innovative new ways of promoting and improving. Put in long hours, hard work, and dedication to getting the job done. And find the right tools and mix to make that happen. If you have the passion, drive, and dedication to stick to it, if you can get up each time you fail, learn from it, and keep going without quitting, then keep it tuned in here. It's time to wake the VO flock up, people, and make VO magic happen. Let's talk voice. Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope your day is great. If it's about to start, hope it's going to be absolutely wonderful. If 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 it's already over, well, hope it was good. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm back with some live streams. Yes, ah, oh, so happy to be back. This is awesome, and the focus of this channel, I've kind of been thinking of it a little more, and um, I'm really focused in on health. So it's going to be your health, getting organized, quick tips that you can use to keep going in your voiceover business if you're starting out, or hey, maybe if you've been around for a while and you just are looking for some other tips that are easier for you to um, maybe save a few dollars and... Uh, increase your profit so to speak I just adjusting my mic here hoping I have all the settings right here for you <laughs> hopefully this is going to be uh, syncing better for you as well I think this option will work much 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 better so you'll be seeing me now on the live streams oh lucky you <laughs> anyway um, it, this is live come on in and join me in the um, in the chat as well. I have the chat up here. Uh, last time I was live, I missed you, Earl. I am so sorry. Um, still trying to get used to all this uh, stuff uh, as it's up here and going, but I'm sure it'll get better as I go along and get used to all the ins and outs of doing everything. Um, yeah, hope you like the new intro. Did that up. Pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Um, it came out exactly as I wanted it, so I love it. Um, all right, so like I said, voiceover home studio and making it work. How to, I guess. Um, and what do you do? Like, what do you do? Um, you know, do you work full time from home? Do you work part time from home in your studio? Um, what, uh, what do we do to make it all work? There are always things that are going on. Um, when you're working from home, there's a lot more distractions, shall we say. Like, take for me, for instance, January for me has been a complete write-off between health and construction. Um, <laughs> it's just kind of a write-off for daytime recording. So, as you can see, I'm coming to you in the later hours of the day, or if you're uh, in a different time zone than... Uh, my own here in, in uh, North America. If you're starting out your day, you'll see I'm at your beginning of the day. Um, that is because I've had to make a switch up um, in my, my recording times uh, to now be later in the day. I work with Beijing uh, at night anyway, and Singapore and um, Korea as well. Um, and it makes more sense for me, for my clients, to be available to them during their hours. So I'm kind of making the switch up to working the later shift um, and to get around the time recording. It's kind of nice, actually. Um, we've had pipes burst here just this weekend. Lovely. Uh, basement's been flooded. Um, you know, uh, there's been construction on the street. Uh, they tore up an entire street up the road here just out in front um, that has really wreaked havoc on noise levels and vibrations traveling throughout the building and getting into your recordings, things you don't want for your clients. And um, I've been really lucky. My clients have been um, juggling around with me to uh, redo my schedule. So it's nice to be able to have that option when you're working from home. So that that's one bonus from working from a home studio is that you can juggle your, your schedule around to say, um, hey, um, I have a client, they need this by my time, say, uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow, 
well, that's great because I can do it tonight overnight. Boom, get it off to them and they will have it for their first thing in the morning. Um, wonderful because I can promise them they'll have it for 3 p.m. my time. But if I deliver earlier, that's even better. It's a big bonus for them. Um, and I like doing that for my clients as much as possible. Sometimes it's not so possible, of course. Um, you know, you, you just get it in around the time that you did promise, which is lovely. Um, but then they get to they get that little added bonus of extra customer service for them. I love it. Mm. I got my hibiscus and lemon tea or tisane um, today. Have a huge sinus infection that is just driving me nuts. Um, so that's been hard with recording, but I'm doing well. This has really helped. I'll tell you, you guys should try this. Really, um, if you have you know any sort of sinus or cold going on, hibiscus tea, um, hibiscus and lemon. Lovely, 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 lovely. It gives you a good boost. Um, it's an overall uh, immune system support and boost for you. Hibiscus is so good for you. Um, but the lemon as well is a natural energizer. Not to mention, it also helps um, for a lot of other things. It balances the pH in your mouth, helps you with some mouth pops and clicks and things like that. It also helps you... Um, uh, like a natural um, deodorizer for your mouth as well. So there you go. And um, I think I had read somewhere that it was also good for your, uh, oh, uh, the germs and things in your mouth. Um, not too sure on that one, so don't quote me on that. Uh, what's up next? Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, there's always different things going on either with yourself or or throughout uh, home life um, that will get in the way of you recording. So what tips do you, I want to know what you guys do out there that helps you stay organized, what helps you to keep on track. Um, some things I know um, that I do, uh, keep a calendar and basically go through your day, um, or I go through my day, um, and <clears throat> part of I go through my day and I uh, list what I'm doing at what time. So, uh, you know, eight o'clock, get up, uh, you know, eight to nine, get up, get ready, um, shower, have breakfast, work out, um, that kind of thing. Um, nine, you know, nine to 10, uh, get into the office, um, you know, get set up for the day, get the recordings on the way. Usually I have the recordings done the night before and set up for first thing in the morning. If I'm in in the morning or my morning or night, I'm kind of backwards right now. But anyway, um, <laughs> get the uh, the first hour in, in, in the uh, office is basically just making sure I have everything I need. Get the scripts. Are the scripts up? Yep. Great. Um, if I've if the computer's been down for the night and it's been doing its updates and its scans and whatnot and it's shut down, perfect, reboot, get everything up and, and running. I usually keep a list on my desk of what I need to do first thing when I get into the studio. And uh, that could be, um, uh, basically I have like, uh, well here, for instance, um, I have my client's name and their, um, when they need their script by, um, when it, uh, sort of like the delivery time, I usually like to time it out for myself so I know. And then their script and where I saved it in the computer. So um, if the document is in my documents, if it's in their own folder, if it's uh, in the Dropbox or the G Drive. I'm a, v a very big Google girl, so a lot of things are in my Google Drive. Love you, Google. Mm, love it. Um, anyway, um, you know, if I have an author that need, I the author's name and then their chapter number that, that I need to get done um, if I have any um, if I'm working with the guys at the studio the guys and gals I should say um, if uh, I'm working with any of them at the studio I'll give them a shit and say hey I need this voice uh, you know how you doing how you doing on that voice if I don't have it or I'll go to the email look for the file and away we go 
um, if it's a group project, that kind of thing. Um, what else do we do? Uh, let's see. That's pretty much self-explanatory self for you um, for keeping a list of all your stuff that you have to do. Um, other than that, I try not to go too in-depth first thing in the morning on emails. And I'll tell you why. Because I want to get in and get straight to work. Um, time is precious when you have construction going on. So when it's quiet, you get in, you get it done, and you get back out. And that's just basically my way of thinking of it anyway. Uh, because then I can get it over with, get it done. And then in the times when I'm hearing that blah, 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 going on out there, um, then I can do my mastering. And it's great. Uh, what else do I do to stay organized? Um, I make sure I take regular breaks. That's a, oh man, you got to make, take regular breaks. Um, sometimes you, I get into my mastering and I get into that flow and, uh, it's kind of hard to tear yourself away from what you're doing, but, um, you really need to be able to take a break to refresh yourself, refresh your mind. Um, luckily we have some little kittens around as you've seen Galen and Blake in the videos previously and, um, they're good for distractions. They're also good. I'll let you know. Um, oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I got a um, runny nose here, but, um, uh, sorry. Um, but they're good for character voices, believe it or not. Uh, because what I do is, um, if I'm having trouble with a character voice and I need a break cause I get frustrated with myself when I can't get it just the way I want it. Um, I'm a bit of a per perfectionist with my character voices. Sorry. But, um, I'll go out and play with them for a little while. Because what is cuter than looking at an itty bitty little kitty? Oh my gosh. They're so cute and they're so adorable. Um, everybody gets that little baby talk thing going on. And it's great to get into the voice that I want to get. And as soon as I get it, it's like, thanks, dude. I'm going now. Got to go back to work. Um, so yeah. Uh, kind of all over the place with this one. Um, yeah. Other things. Um, what else can you do from home to stay organized? Um, one thing is letting people know, um, if you can, uh, when you're working. So like my, my, um, daughter and I have made a, um, calendar that we've put up on the wall. It's one of those whiteboard erase things. Um, we have that up in the calendar. So I have her schedule as I know, so I know when she's coming home, um, for, um, from uh, university so that I know, okay, so at this time when I hear the door, um, or if I hear someone walking around, I know it's them. Uh, I know it's her coming in. Um, I'll know what time I might want to take a break at that time. So I'll take a break, go say hello. There's my break in the day. Great. And away I go. Um, other things, um, planning dinners, meals, everybody in the household has to work together. You have to be able to plan all of that around your work schedule at home. And, um, just realizing actually that this doesn't only apply to the voiceover industry, but some of this applies to anybody who works at home really. Um, but yeah, um, you have to be able to say, okay, well, let's plan out the meals for the week, which is what we do. And we say, okay, well, say, uh, I don't know, Monday's pasta night. Um, and, uh, say my daughter's cooking. Okay, great. Um, say Tuesday's my night to cook and I'm making potatoes, rice, vegetables, whatever. Um, uh, that kind of thing. And you just go on from there as to who's doing what, when. And put that on a dry, on the dry away, erase border. Oh, I cannot say that word today. Dry erase board. There we go. I said it. <sighs> See what happens at the beginning of your day. Uh, at the beginning of my day. I haven't warmed up yet either. So, mum, 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 mum. Mm. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, dry erase boards, uh, receipts, receipts. You're working from home. We went over that whole, you need the accounting software bit. You also need to save your receipts. So if you get a new microphone, 
<laughs> um, <laughs> see my SM7B video. Um, I'm so excited that was happy birthday to me. Um, and the review for that, by the way, is coming up. Um, I had to wait for the cloud lifter to come in. If you remember, the cloud liver, the cloud lifter just came in, um, and uh, I picked it up. So I have it, and I'm going to do that review and get that video out to you this week. All right. Um, receipts. Back to receipts. Receipts. You need to basically uh, make sure that they are uh, kept organized. Um, and a quick and easy way, if you are one of those people who like to throw them into a bin, eh, 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 no, no, no. get yourself one of those accordion, um, you know, those envelope that kind of looks like a big envelope to me. It's those plastic things you get at the dollar store and you just, you flip up the lid and you open it up and it'll have the little slots inside. And usually they'll come with labels. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Um, there's usually enough for each, um, each month of the year. You can just take your receipts from whatever you're doing, whether it's gas going to a studio or a meal out when you go to a studio or um, anything you buy, pens, pen, pens, paper, pencils. Um, I have on, I have a calendar on my desk. I have a desktop calendar. I love to write things down. I am um, a terrible, I have a terrible memory usually. Right now, I'm really good. Um, but if I don't write something down, I forget it. I need sticky notes stuck to my forehead for Pete's sakes. I love sticky notes, just love them. But you need to um, take all the receipts from this stuff and put it into the uh, accordion folder, stick it up somewhere. Um, we have it just pinned to the pinned to the wall out in out in the area in the uh, outer office, not here in the booth, but in the outer office, and um, then you can just quickly grab that month's receipts bundle them up, mark them January, and away you go. Perfect. What do you think of that? Um, that's what we do. And then, um, well, I do because then um, they can get sorted and sent into um, to the books, sent into the books, entered into the books, and go on from there. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. How's that? Um, what else can I tell you? Um, how else do we stay organized here? Uh, I guess I really have to thank my daughter for organizing me. Um, she's really taken up the reins on being the I can assist, um, here, <laughs> the voiceover assistant, um, in getting the office organized. Um, as a voiceover, you'll find that everything coming in, it's going to be very overwhelming when you're working from home. Um, I have a business background. I have an admin and accounting background. I find it hard myself. I find it overwhelming because there are so many um, spots um, that your voiceover clients will come in from. Uh, and it is hard, hard, hard to keep all of those together. I mean, the emails will come in and in and in and in, but then you've got people coming in from chats and you've got people then coming in from other sites and, and uh, your website and it's just all over the place. Um, so I... I have um, handed some of that off actually to other people um, to handle emails and things um, and uh, and basically all of that um, so that it makes it easier and there are some great tips I can give you later which is going to be one of uh, my tips later that you will find out um, on how how to get that organized so if you can get people to help you um, you know, if you've got a son or a daughter who's home and um, and or if they're attending college or university and maybe they don't have a full time job yet um, and maybe they have a few extra hours during the week, get them to help you out if they're living at home. I mean, they're living at home. Put it into the chores for Pete's sakes if you have to. Um, but I mean, they're in college and university, so you really shouldn't have to. Um, you should just be able to say, hey, Mark, buddy, can you help me out? I need your help in the studio. Um, you're great at this, but make sure it's something that um, basically for them is something they're going to be interested in doing. Not that just not just that they have to help old mom and dad out. Um, oh, oh, oh! Hang on, sorry. Doing the cardinal rule. Um, 
breaking the cardinal rule here of not having my phone on in the studio. My apologies. Um, and yes, I have Kami, so as my ringtone. Thank you, J. Michael Tatum. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah. Um, what else? Um, oh, I was saying, um, take take it as um, something that they're interested in. Uh, if they are good at doing graphic design, get them to do up some of the graphics for your social uh, networks, um, and do and take over maybe the social network marketing. Um, you know, not all of it, of course. That's if they're doing graphic design, they may not be interested in that. But um, you know, just say, hey, um, great, I need this graphic. I'd like it to do to do something along this line. So you think you can make me up a few graphics and post them up to my social network? Hey, yeah, yeah. Little Mark will not be too offended, I don't think, to help mom or and mom and or dad out um, to do something like that. Um, family working together to um, support you is absolutely amazing. If you don't have that, hey, there are ways you can do stuff like that. Um, and it helps you get organized. There are people you can hire to do that. And it won't cost you an arm and a leg. Um, you can go to any of the freelance websites. I'm sure you can find somebody there. Um, just make sure you shop around on those things. Um, test them out. <laughs> I started doing that. Um, kind of got burnt a few times, <clears throat> uh, we'll say. And, um, I mean, it's like anything else. The, you get some good, you get some bad. I shouldn't say bad. Some not so good. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing the different things you can do to keep yourself organized and sane during your own business day. And remember, this is your business. So you can run your voiceover business the way you see fit. If you think you need somebody to help you with the office, then get somebody to help you with the office. If that is the one thing that you think that you can do to get better organized because a, an organized voiceover artist is going to kick out more voiceover jobs in a day, a week, a month, and a year than somebody who is all over the flipping place and can't get organized enough to get all of their jobs out the door. And believe me, I know because I've been there. Um, many times I told you, um, I have a little, a little, <laughs> I have, uh, I've had health issues in the past. They have overrun me. Let me tell you. Um, and this year, no more. Um, 2018 is my year and I'm feeling great. So 2018, um, is a good year to focus on all our health. And expanding and growing our business is the best we, the to the best of our abilities this year. We are um, able to take the bull by the horns and say, okay, it's a brand new year. Great. So what are your goals for the year? Well, I know my goals for the year. Um, one, to get organized. Two, to uh, funnel my business through uh, my website at phoenixtclark.com more so than... Um, any other, any other places? You know, I've had some problems with some of the uh, <clears throat> the platforms. Um, I'm firing them. It's gone. Um, everything is going to be through my website. So the focus for me, SEO, marketing, um, uh, social networking. Eventually, I haven't got onto that one yet, but uh, I started it. <laughs> one thing at a time. Um, you know, growing the chronicles, um, getting more of those kicked out. I want to do at least one a month um, and get everything going. Um, there's just so many things I have on the go. And being able to have somebody who can be there to say, okay, so this is the project. Take chronicles, for instance. Um, it's the, uh, it's the uh, uh, podcast that... Um, the elite and I have been doing um, voiceover elite and it's absolutely amazing it stars um, I think it is I'm a little biased I'm in it um, <laughs> it's uh, it stars uh, C. Allen Robinson an extremely talented talented um, male voiceover artist if you uh, haven't uh, don't know him want to hear him 
uh, check out the Ghostly Chronicles uh, audio drama podcast here on YouTube. I'll put a link to it at the end of the video. Um, he's great. He's amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, he's Barry. Uh, it has Andrew Reyes. He is uh, Rick and uh, myself. Uh, Sarah James um, is... Uh, what was he? Oh, the senator. Uh, no, 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 no. He wasn't the senator. He was a mystery man in that one. Yes, our Mr. Um, Mr. X type, I guess you'd say, for all of you X-Files out there. Uh, love that show. Love that show. And thank you so much to Fox for bringing back the X-Files. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> I have been an X-File forever and a day, ever since it started. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, yeah. Those are the first few things that came to mind this year. I wanted to get organized. Um, January, I'm sort of uh, taking the Lunar New Year here in February, and that is my jumping off point. I gave myself January right into February to be that little transitional phase, um, if you get my drift, uh, because I'm, I'm reorganizing everything. That's a lot to reorganize your entire business from head to toe, which is what I've done, because I had my business set up that all of the um, pay to play and the freelance websites were all like back um, the backbone of it which is not a good way to do it no not at all not at all and um, so now I've restructured it so everything is a website only um, good way to do it um, if you haven't started on your website you really do need one um, hit me up let me know um, I've got some changes going on um, that you may be of interest for you for later but if you are interested in looking at a website for your voiceover business, shoot me a message and let me know. Um, I'll pop into one of these uh, live chat thingies there uh, here on YouTube and uh, let me know. I'd be happy to uh, to give you a hand with that or some tips or yeah, uh, answer any questions that you might have about that. Um, my biggest tip for, for your website that I can think of for keeping it organized is keep... Um, Keep to the KISS principle, um, if you know what that is. Keep it simple. That's right. Keep it simple, simple. Um, make sure the information you, as a person coming into a website looking for a voiceover, is going to want to see first and foremost. That's it. So what? think of the things that they're going to want to see. Think of how you want to represent yourself and um, what write up some blurbs you might want in there. Put them in there and make sure it is in a clean, crisp, clear, uh, organized type of, of display. Um, think of your website basically as um, an online brochure. Don't make it look like a brochure, but make it look like, um, well, to whatever you're targeting. Um, if you're, you're targeting, say, the want to do like Bugs Bunny um, voices and, you know, uh, Elmer Fudd and, uh, you know, I try, I try, a boy cat and things like that. Great. Good for you. Awesome. Tailor your site to that. You know, make it a little cartoony. Why not? Um, not go overboard. You don't want to look like it's made for kids but you know what I mean like you can have little aspects of that that shows your personality and your character in in voices maybe a few voices that you've done and um, draw up some your, your demo draw up some characters if you can't draw go to one of the freelance websites and get somebody to say you know say here's my demo can you make me up a voice for what you think this little guy sounds like why not stick it on there if you're if if you're targeting cartoons, um, anime, find somebody who does uh, anime um, and manga drawing. Hey, why not? Uh, different things like that. Um, but make sure that your website, above all else, is professional. That's right. Um, and make sure that you get across 
what your rates are, um, how, how they can contact you, um, give them the options, um, that your services that you provide. All of that information obviously has to be in there. It's not just a one page, here's a picture of me and um, here's a demo. No. Um, you know, and here's my contact in, in email and then think, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. The floodgates are just going to open up because I'm sorry, it's not. You're going to need to do some SEO. You're going to need to do some marketing. You're going to need to learn those things. And if you can't learn those things, well, find somebody who can. Or message this wee bird and let her know that you need some help. I will help you out as much as I can. Um, I'll give you some directions. Um, and I'm only coming across this because I've had a few emails about um, websites. And um, I have a web, I am a web designer um, uh, from my background. Part of my background is website and graphic design and SEO and marketing. And um, that's just the generalized tips that I can give you for those. Um, there's more specific, anyone who writes me and has a specific question, I will answer it as much as I possibly can. And hey, if I don't know, I'll let you know. And I will find out and <laughs> then let you know in a video. <laughs> so how's that? Let everybody know. Um, I'm a big, big, big fan of sharing information between everyone in the industry and this industry, um, supporting each other. Um, there's a lot of work in voiceover. Um, and there is a lot to running a voiceover business, to branding yourself, to um, social net, social marketing, to CRMs and website design and graphic design. And what should you post and what shouldn't you post and what network should you be on? And where should you get your voiceover coaching and training from? Like, wow, that's a lot. And for the newbies out there who are just kind of jumping into this head first or feet first or <laughs> whichever it is, you're diving into a very big pool. And I love, I love what Wovo's doing. I really do. The more I, um, and I kind of hear about what they're doing and that, um, I love that they're supporting voiceover artists and they're doing what I, um, envision, um, I guess, uh, what, um, what the voiceover industry possibly can be. Um, I'm always reminded of uh, one of my favorite quotes. And uh, oddly enough, it came from Angel. Uh, what is it? I don't know the entire quote offhand. Um, we, basically the basic of it is we um, act and we be as the world is as it should be to show it what it can be. I love that. I absolutely love that. And thank you. I think it was Josh Whedon who penned that. Um, <clears throat> I do believe. If not, my apologies. Um, but I do believe that's who did that for uh, the Angel series. Michael Barreras. Hmm. Love that show. Mm. I'm a big nerd, as you will find out. <laughs> I'm a nerd and a geek. I identify as both. I am. Lots of Star Wars and Angel and Buffy and and uh, Star Trek and uh, oh, just Lord of the Rings and tons of references. But anyway, uh, yeah. So what else can I tell you? Staying organized at home is one thing, um, and it helps to make that magic behind the scenes happen. Um, if you have somebody who can also help you with mar uh, mastering, if you are doing um, voiceovers and you maybe get into some longer projects or you have a lot of projects that are just kind of backing up, if you don't have time to master them all, there is no, uh, no shame in having to hire somebody um, out there who helps you with your mastering because I think that is absolutely great or if the audio engineers can work with the voiceover artists and the voiceover artists can work with the audio engineers and we can get that 
you know, if you don't already have one in your studio, you can hire that work out. You're helping out another person in the industry. I mean, this industry encompasses so many people, directors, producers, uh, video games, cartoons, anime, manga, um, actors, uh, voice both on screen, on stage, and voice acting. Um, it's all acting. It, it's We just have to use our voice to get across the emotions and the feelings, whereas at least with somebody who's on screen and on stage, you can use your voice, uh, but you can also use your face, your body, everything that you need. Um, we, I'm not saying voiceover is better. I'm not saying that on stage is better. Don't get into that controversy because I've seen that happen and that's not pretty. Mm -mm, no, not pretty. Um, but I think personally, personally, my own opinion, I think that voiceover is the harder acting. Voice acting is harder. You have to be able to convey somebody being uh, frustrated or, um, you know, very, very sad. Or that was terrible, but <laughs> you get the drift. Um, you know, or somebody was really happy and they just don't know what to do. They're just so excited. You know. But you can't. I mean, we, we have to do that with our voice. All of it. Actors kind of have extra tools. <laughs> as well as they're on film. At least they get to do it again, you know? Hmm. Um, there's a lot to say, too, for, y for you newbies out there uh, in getting coaches. Um, it, you don't have to have a coach. But... If you can work up to getting a coach, the coaches often have really great tips of their own on how they did it, um, how they stayed organized, how they um, how they did everything, um, or suggestions on how their offices work better, or how the work days work better. You know, oh hey, well, well then that happens for me. You know, they'll they'll be willing to share those trick those tips and tricks. Any good coach would. I don't know why. They would not. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're a great resource. That's why the coaches are out there. Um, I, I personally think, at least the coaches that I've um, come across, David H. Lawrence, um, Earl Hall, uh, Bill DeWeese, um, Peter and Hugh at Gravy for the Brain, these and, and, of course, all their staff as well, I should say, as well. Um, big shout out to all of those guys, because they were my coaches. And um, they are amazing people. They, yes, they charge for some of their um, courses. But let me tell you, folks, it's worth it. It is so worth it. Because they've been there. They've been in the industry. They know what they're talking about. And they really are trying to help you. It's a form of paying it forward. Think of it that way. Um, they're sharing their knowledge with people out there who don't have that knowledge right now. And that is what you're looking for. Go see the coaches. But you have to check the coaches out, feel them out, and see who's better for you and who's not. Um, because these, these coaches are... And there's tons of coaches out there. Um, I don't mean to exclude everybody. It's just I don't know everybody out there and... Um, I'm sure there are amazing, amazing coaches I haven't mentioned, but these these coaches who are out there, um, you know, take the programs and find out and and see how they are. Um, if you have one that you like, hey, let me know. Um, you know, let me know. Um, maybe there's one I haven't heard of. Um, there's also some, um, a lot of value. I shouldn't say some value. One thing for VOs, I find um, to be able to stay organized at home and find different ways of doing things is to go to some of the, <laughs> I call them the cons, um, the voiceover cons, but that's not really what they're called. Um, 
you know, the voiceover um, events that go on where uh, we all get together and we go to, say, Atlanta or New York or L.A. or in the U.K. There's another one coming on, um, coming up, was it this weekend? Might have been this weekend, actually. Mm, missed that one. Um, but anyway, um, <clears throat> go to those events. You'll find some great, uh, pick up some great tips and tricks and learn a lot at those conventions as well. Um, they're amazing. Um, I only call them cons because I'm into the, going to the anime con and I like going to those. Um, but then I like doing the voices, so that's part of my thing. Um, one way and one tip that I have for anybody doing character voices, and you want to keep yourself organized and you want to have a good day, is to book some time during your week where you play video games or watch anime. And you may be sitting there going, what the fudge is this person talking about? Think about it. If you're targeting those industries, you want to know what's going on out there. You want to see some of the stuff. So grab a few video games, grab a few animes, and go watch them, go play them. Um, voice along. Imitate voices that are in them. It gives you some practice in what you're doing. And it also gives you an idea of what the industry has out there that they might be looking for. And um, practice is always good no matter whether you're a beginner or you've been in this industry for 15 years. You still need to practice, you know, still need to take care of yourself, and you still need to have an organized day for doing what you're doing. Um, I mean, think about it. Do you really think that Todd Habercorn works out every day and, and takes care of himself. Um, I mean, he's fit. He's, he's obviously very fit. Um, he goes to the gym a lot. He is an amazing voiceover artist. He takes very good care of his health, by the looks of it, um, from what I've seen in some of his feeds. And he does what he does. He does a lot. And you think that he's done all this as an addition not only did for himself to keep healthy and keep fit but also to keep this healthy and fit because his tool is his body and um so for you you need to bringing that all back for yourself um that's all haberific and everything but you also need to think that you need to do this as well um, you need to plan some time in your day for working out, whether it's a yoga session, Tai Chi, Qigong, um, taking a run. Love, a lot of people seem to like to run. It's winter here, so I'm kind of not thinking of running. Um, if you want to uh, do a lot, voice actor Comic Cons. Hello, Michaela. Yes, voice actor Comic Cons. I think that should be a thing. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Why not? I think we should... Hey, Vic. Hey, Todd. Can we have a voice actor Comic-Con? Can we arrange that somehow? <laughs> and maybe make it, you know, both Canada and the U.S. together somewhere? Maybe along a border town or something? <laughs> so we don't have to worry about not being able to get back over the border. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway... <laughs> yes, and and uh, welcome, Michaela. Uh, yeah, voice actor Comic Cons should be a, should be a thing. I really think they should be. Why not? Um, we already have cons where we go and learn things about voiceover, and I would so love to be able to go down to them. But I'm I'm sorry, guys. Unless they're this side of the border, north of the border, I'm this little VO is not venturing down there um, without a good pass and assurance that I can get back home. Um, just being the state of every, the way everything is at the moment. Um, for work? Yeah, I'm there, man. Um, Funimation called. I'm gone! But anyway, um, or Disney or Pixar. But, uh, yeah. So, those are just some things to stay organized and keep going. Like I said, my daughter is great to help me in the office, as it were and uh, getting me organized and keeping me up and running and doing what I need to do. 
And I also get the, hey mom, don't you need this today? Yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> Before I get into the office. But uh, yeah, no, it, it helps. It really, really, really helps. Um, oh, I've got a, a cracked tooth I'm going to get filled tomorrow and it's just painting like a son of a bun here. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, that is about it for um, voiceover. If you want to get into voiceover, um, and you're thinking about getting into voiceover, hey, give me a shout. H uh, hit me up at my website, phoenixtclark.com, or shoot me an email, or pop into the live streams any time you would like. Um, I will be here, um, hoping to make this a one-a-day thing, and uh, y we'll talk voiceover and see what all we can come up with. Today is just getting organized and staying organized with your day. Make that calendar. Uh, get that uh, get that list ready. Best thing before you close up shop at the end of the day, like I said, get that list ready. Write it out if you're like me and you like to have something written out. Or have it all ready and up on your screen um, and ready to do it in the morning. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. So, um, other than that, thank you to Michaela for joining us in the chat. Love having you here with us and um, hoping that all of you will be uh, joining me on the live streams that are now coming up. Now that we finally got a camera, that will work <laughs> in a working situation. Um, and don't forget the brand new Two Tip Tuesdays. That's right. Uh, coming at you tomorrow, two tips during the day will be published. I will not tell you when or what times these are going to be published throughout the day. <laughs> it is a two-tip treasure hunt. Da -da 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 -da. So go be your own little Indiana Joneses and find those here on my channel tomorrow. Um, as I said, I'm going to get this um, silly old tooth looked at tomorrow because it cracked in two tonight. Um, so I will not be doing a live stream tomorrow, but it is two tip two this so stay tuned anyway thank you all for joining me hopefully you have had a wonderful voiceover day if not thanks for joining me get back to work get on out there and make that voiceover magic happen bye everyone if you've liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe and hey don't forget that bell button.